After years of delays, construction of the 1,776-foot Freedom Tower, built on the ruins of the World Trade Center, has finally begun. Joining us today are two of the project's most outspoken critics. Becky Drager, public liaison for the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation, and Omar El Farouk, a representative for the Al-Qaeda terrorist organization. Uh, you both seem to be expressing a sense of urgency for getting the project underway. Uh, yes. What's the uh, reason behind that? It's taken five years, five years to lay a concrete base. I think that really says it all. Yes. We need a place to mourn and to reflect on the horrible tragedy of 9-11. Yes, but the important thing is that the construction proceed quickly so that we have a large tower visible from many miles away. And are you both happy with the design? It's okay. Uh, I'm happy that the uh, subway system and transportation system is directly linked to it. Uh, I think that will prove very helpful. Yes, uh, it is convenient. It's certainly the large, sharp spike uh, has many possibilities. Our organization proposed a design that I think would have um, conjured up images of all that we've lost. But your building is hard to see on a, let's say, a rainy, cloudy day. We wanted more colors. Well, should the site be used commercially at all? It's just time to get it completed for whatever function we use it. Certainly, and, and big business is always going to lead the way. This is a good place for them to gather, a place where lots and lots of people. All kinds of people. Old older people, people, younger people. Uh, people in wheelchairs that cannot move quickly. Yes. The president should have perhaps an office on the highest of floors. You want really important people there, so I say to them, build it and go there and wait. We need a place where all ages can gather and pay their respects and remember what it is that we've lost. Yes, it is our goal to continue to make places where people can go and mourn uh, the death of their loved ones. Well, I want to thank you both for being here today. Coming up next, we're going to be discussing worm farms. Uh Hi, this is Corporal Ryan Hayes from Birmingham, Alabama, stationed in North Zone, Iraq. I want to send a message out to my homosexually secret lover, Ben, back home. I hope that you're getting this message, but that nobody else in the military is watching this, because I'm so very homosexually gay. But I hope nobody's watching this from the military, because I'll be kicked out. I love you.